the Congo is the third largest country in Africa. And uh, what happens here affects most of the neighboring countries. And so uh, instability in this country needs to be uh, dealt with, controlled very quickly. There should be quick response to ensure that uh, um, this country doesn't get destabilized. This country could be the breadbasket of Africa. Coming up in part two, camps close as thousands return home to the promise of peace. Around 26 million people globally have been displaced by war and remain homeless within their own country. Unlike refugees who can find help in another state, these people are not protected under international law. In October in Kampala, the African Union held a special summit on refugees, returnees, and internally displaced people. Heads of state and government adopted a groundbreaking convention for the protection and assistance of the internally displaced in Africa. The new convention is aimed particularly at helping women and children, many of whom have fled without parents or family. Two years ago, these sisters arrived at the Magunga camps near Goma in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. They were children at just 15 and 14 when they fled the fighting between the Rwandan FDLR and the CNDP. Rebels tried to recruit them and other young people to fight. <laughs> The sisters don't know if their parents are alive or dead. Despite the safety Magunga camp offers, they fear living alone. There are currently several hundred children without parents on the camps at Magunga. The new African Union Convention on Internally Displaced People aims to force countries to provide greater protection for the young. At the moment, aid agencies provide free schooling for all in the camp. And those of working age can learn a profession. For some, their only previous training has been in warfare. Some of those has been former soldiers. And it is very important for them to have this type of training so that they can be reintegrated into society. And we find it very successful. Since 2006, the Magunga camps have held over 80,000 displaced people. But this week marks an historic watershed. Since a recent peace accord between the government forces and the CNDP rebels, many now plan to leave. Displaced people within Goma have begun to go back home in massive numbers. And so some of the camps like Ngunga One have literally closed and they are, there are no people, they are empty. All you see are stones. After several years in the camp, Many people are pleased to go home. Single mother of four, Jay, is also packing up, but not out of choice. Jay sends her children off to the unknown with all their worldly possessions. The young sisters are also leaving to go back to their village. 
Kule tuko naogopa sama tutafika wako tena viti na kuwa. Tendo na kaba za zetu kaba ngaliki. Despite the optimism of some returning home, for many the reality is very different. 30 kilometers north of the Mangunga camps lies Sagi. This district was ravaged by war before the peace agreement between the government and the CNDP rebels. The people in this whole village which you see behind me uh, fled from here. About 6,000 people have come back to Sake. Today what we've been doing is to assist them with food and non-food assistance so that they can start a new life as they come back to their villages. Not only do those returning home get food, they also receive survival kits to help rebuild their lives. This man and his family returned from the camps just over two weeks ago. All they have is a temporary shelter. The CNDP militia dug out the remains of this home to make a foxhole. Here they fought government forces. The family have also returned to find the village's infrastructure destroyed. And with rumors of militia still operating in the region, security remains a concern. Hakuna kuuliza kuzola zola kuku kuku kitu nakutana na kamata na kamata 0 second mkapima kuyama kidogo wa kulumia na lumia na kufana kufu The new African Union Convention hopes to make government speed up the resettlement of their citizens after war Aid organizations hope this will ensure a longer lasting peace a lot of the services are not functional. The social infrastructure is not intact and health services are not quite there. These things need to be um, looked into if the people have to uh, retain and sustain their return in their villages. The sisters have also returned to their home district of Saki. After stocking up on food aid, they plan to go back to their village. They too are worried about security in their village, as it used to be a militia stronghold. The sisters set off on the 10-kilometer walk to their village. Fortunately, Jay doesn't have to leave the security of the camps after all. She's been told she can go to a new camp for those who are vulnerable or can't return home. Magunga 3. <laughs> In spite of the improving peace, the work for aid organizations at Magunga continues. The few that have gone back are nowhere an indication that the situation is getting better. Nevertheless, it's pointing into the right direction as to how long we will be here uh, for as long as we have people of concern to us. Perhaps the best promise that the new African Union Convention makes is to try and prevent displacement happening in the first place.
Better prevention will reduce the need for camps like those at Magunga altogether. And I hope that uh, this African initiative will be replicated in other parts of the world and I hope that in the future we will be able to have a legal instrument um, to uh, better guarantee the rights of the people in terrorist places as we have for the refugees. But those working in the field want to see these promises turn into concrete actions. They need really to look also on the side of action. What action should be taken in countries like the Congo? Because I think the future generation will be looking back and say uh, what happened 